if you have been seeing 222 babes this is for you okay now we're going to start off here with an oracle message and then we're going to swing over into the tarot deck the person that's been seeing 222 spirit what is this about this is crazy okay modest fortitude and, and peace is what's coming out here okay now this peace card also came out in my 999 reading okay for some of you guys you may need to go and watch it okay i feel like something is closing out for you but spirit right now is telling you just to keep persevering keep going and i know you hear that a lot i know you hear that a lot i know a lot of times you would be like bruh I've been keep going. How long am I keep going? How am I think? It's not about focusing on that, okay? It's not about hyper fixating on how long or the when or the way. It's about trusting the process. Two butterflies just, I mean, did y'all just see that? Did y'all see that? I hope y'all saw that. It's really about trusting the process and knowing that this is happening for you, okay? Because you're about to enter a state of peace. You're about to enter a state of peace. And you're going to have this because you're determined, okay? Did I just say the butterflies? The butterflies is following me underneath that, okay? This is the hope part, okay? Asking this is the butterfly and the snowdrop. Determination, Ram energy, Aries energy is very significant. Okay, some of you guys are really charging for towards what it is that you want to do. This is why this modest fortitude card is also coming out again here. Whatever you're doing is about to enter you into a state of peace. Okay, it's about to put you into the state of peace. For I promise you, mark my words. Because remember, when you're actually focusing on yourself, right, Aries energy, okay, focusing on the me, right, and doing what you have to do here in this life test, I'm okay, you're going to have what you want. You will have the success and the abundance that you want in this lifetime, okay? Literally, I just put the dick at the fucking Ace of Pentacles. You're going to have this new opportunity that's going to be presented to you, this golden opportunity, this ace, this ace, okay? When people write regular cards, okay, isn't the ace the, the biggest card, right, in the deck? That's the biggest one. Everybody wants the ace. Okay, we're going to start again here with the ace of pentacles. I just shuffled in the ace of pentacles. It's back on the bottom of the deck, okay? So let's see. What is here about this 222 energy spirit? What does the person need to know right now at this tip? I'm okay, y'all. My name is the Spiritual Mermaid. Your solo waste. My name is Anissa. I do not reach out for readings, donations, anything like that. You have to go through the link in my bio, okay? Now, first card that we have here is the two of wands, okay? And then we have the five of swords that is here, okay? I feel like a lot of you guys are, you could be in this energy where I feel like you're trying to figure things out, okay? Or you're recognizing that you have all this that is here for you, okay? You have the world, okay? Um, again, you can go here, you can go there, right? But I also feel like maybe you're waiting on something to come in. But I do feel like somebody is in your energy, okay, where they're trying to be mischievous or they think they're going to, you know, get ready to manipulate or take something from you, okay? Literally, the lovers on the bottom of the fucking deck. Gemini energy is here, okay? Yeah, we 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 not playing that game. We're not doing that, okay? 222 two, two is about divine alignment, but it's also about, you know, your perspective. It's also about, you know, things balancing out for you, okay? Number two goes to the sign of Taurus as well, okay? Taurus is represents love okay it's ruled by the sign of venus okay so the lovers on the bottom of the deck for a reason here but i do feel like again because the five of swords i don't like seeing the five of swords okay five of swords is very sneaky energy okay i'm hearing manipulation okay i feel like somebody realized that you have the world in your hands and they're trying to figure out how they can eat off your plates no so the spirit is is shifting something for you that's what i'm hearing right now about this 222 energy can you tell me something else about i can't make it up <laughs> This person knows that you're the queen of wands, okay? This person knows that you know how to ignite that fire, okay? This person knows that you know, I'm hearing, you know how to fucking drop the boat, okay? This person knows and sees this, okay? So you're being seen this two, 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 because spirit is saying, no, 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 this is not for you. Mm. They're dropping rhymes in my fucking head. Okay, remember that the light and the dark and the darker light exists for a reason, but this is somebody that sees and knows that you are the queen of wands, okay? So they're trying to figure out how they can manipulate or how they can come in and take from you, no. No, and I don't really like doing reads and pulls on negative energy like this, but again, it is what it is, okay? Everything's about your perspective. For some of you guys, I feel like your intuition is already guiding you towards this, okay? Or you're already seeing this energy. Like, you're already very much so aware of this, okay? Now, the Queen of Wands is what's clarifying this Five of Swords energy here. So far, we have a lot of wands here, so that's definitely fire sign energy. Every single side of the chair could be significant. Remember, we all have all 12 signs of the zodiac in our chart, okay? That's why you get into your birth chart. But again, um, some flowers could also be very significant here. Leo energy could be very significant because this is coming out to clarify this five of swords. Okay, the number five, the fifth sign of the zodiac is also Leo. Okay, so yeah, this this definitely could be somebody trying to be very mischievous. Look at this person, right? He feel like, oh, I got three swords, right? I got, I got away with it. He got three of them in his hand and he's holding two of them down there by his feet. But they don't realize that you're the queen of wands, okay? You know how to stay in your heart and stay in your passion and stay true to yourself, okay? That's why you are the queen of fucking wands okay the bottom of the deck is the fucking 10 of fucking cups i can't make this up in the eight of wands underneath that and then the king of wands i can't make this shit up i can 
They see your success and your fulfillment. They see that things are happening swiftly and quickly for you, okay? The eight of wands is all about things charging fastly towards you, okay? It's, it's like movement. It's coming in. But the eight is also about transformation, rebirth, death energy, okay? Cycles, okay? Remember that we are in the gear of the number eight. The eight times the zodiac is Scorpio. Scorpio is the sign of manipulation. Scorpios, don't lose your mind. It just is what it is, okay? That's eight house energy. Remember, manipulation is not all bad, okay? But it's definitely about the mindset, right? The source. It's definitely about how people are seeing this, okay? I'm hearing somebody is trying to eat off your plate. Spirit said this is not happening. <laughs> this card, the Ten of Cups just fell and it just fell in reverse because they're unfulfilled, because they're not happy, because they're not successful right now within their path and their journey in themselves. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, anyway, Spirit, what is this 222 about, please? Why else is the person seeing the 222? What is happening for the, the, the person that's on the goods? This number 16, the tower. This is a shakeup that's happening in your life. This is destruction or is it getting ready to cause some sort of shakeup in your life? Because you have now, you know, seen this, right? You're being able to see clear as day of this energy, okay? You're using your intellect, okay? Swords energy, okay? I feel like for a lot of you guys, the sun is fucking coming out. The sun is coming out. I can't, I, I can't make it up. I can't make it up. See, this person is about to have a fall because they tried this with you. They tried it. They tried it. And this is why you have something fast coming towards you relating to your passions. Okay, again, queen of wands here. A lot of passion energy is here. Those, the, the, um, those wands, that fire sign energy is all about passion. And again, we have a lot of Aries energy in the air. Okay, Aries is ruled by Mars. Mars is the planet of passion. Okay, but Mars also does rule men. Okay, but this tower is happening for a reason. Why is this tower happening? I mean, we already know why the tower is happening. Okay, but I mean, this person is seeing, we're seeing 222. The five fucking pinnacles left out in the fucking cold. <laughs> I'm sorry, it ain't funny, but it's fucking funny. Temperance, bottom of the deck, patience, number 14 is five. This is a change that's happening for you. Spirit again is balancing things out in your favor. <laughs> So remember that this is happening for you. And these are going to be some destruction things that's going to be happening to, 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 to them. <laughs> number 16 and number 5. Okay. 16 and 5. This is really fucking sad. This is sad, but again, people have to learn their lesson. People have to learn their karma again. They're sitting over there focusing on their pinnacles. They may be thinking back on their pinnacles because they're seeing that things are not changing for them in their finances, okay? Or they're hoping things are changing for them in their finances. But they're trying to do this by being mischievous, by being sneaky, by being manipulative. Spirit don't like that. And everything in this life is about your fucking intentions, okay? Do not like don't don't play with spirit and the energy like that, okay? Don't do that. This tower is happening for them because again, they're out in the cold. They're out in the fucking cold. Oh boy, your patience is being rewarded. Now, Spirit, can you tell me about the, the the more positive, the light side of this? Okay, for the person that's seeing two, two, two. Now that they are aware of this darkness, okay, literally just called eight oh eight. Okay, now that they're aware of this bullshit and this energy, okay, and this tower is happening for this other person. What's coming in for the person who's been doing good, who's been following their right intentions, okay, who's been focusing on themselves, okay. We have three wands of here. So, again, you could be in a state where you're waiting for something to come in. You're waiting for better weather, okay? You're waiting for things to change for you in the process. But I don't feel like you're just sitting and waiting. I feel like you're still going. You're moving forward on things, okay? But this person, again, is trying to be manipulative. That's why their ass is getting chucked, chucked the fuck up by the damn divine of your ancestors and your spirit, guys. You better talk, spirit. Ooh. Y'all see the way them cards fell? Uh-uh, spirit. That's too many cards. But we have the nine of pentacles, the page of swords, the six of cups, and the nine of wands is here, okay? You could be very guarded, but something from your past is returning back around. You could be having a lot of nostalgia, a lot of memories, okay? Somebody could want to come in and give you some sort of offer, okay? Whatever this is, it's about to put you in a state of royalty. I have an orange morlock that's literally coming towards me, and I'm fucking getting goosebumps. So this is, again, it's a, a big transformation that's happening for you. Can I get one card, spirit, to go ahead and close this out? Just card 909 as well. Again, the transformation is happening to put you in a new cycle, eight and nine. Eight and nine. The person that's been seeing two, two, two spirit, that's been doing the right work, okay, that's been following, the, that's been having the right intentions, okay, they're following their hearts, okay, they're really wanting greatness to come in. And it's sad because some of you guys, okay, you, you have such a big heart, right? You're like, you know what? I know this person is doing this, but you know what? I still forgive you. I still see through your shit because I, I, I know you don't understand. You don't really get the, the journey, okay? You want things to come in quickly and swiftly for you, but you don't want to do the work that you have to do. And again, you're trying to be manipulative, right? This is why this is the number of change, and this is why this fucking tower is happening. You could be seeing a lot of five, five, fives, okay? Wondering why, okay? Five, five, zero could be significant. Five, five, one could be significant. Do you hear the bird? You hear the bird? You hear the bird? 
okay so for this 222 energy here we literally have the hermit coming out okay again number nine okay this is also give me a virgo energy but i feel like there is a wish fulfillment that is happening for you but spirit wants you to spend some time alone okay that's why you've been seeing this 222 really being by yourself okay as the divine is, is doing things you ever hear somebody say you've been you're being moved out the way for a reason okay or a spirit is trying to move you somewhere okay or they're trying to get you away from things the way somebody's karma can happen for them okay this is what is coming through right now okay you had to, you know, remove yourself from this person's energy, okay, or walk away from this person. That could be very significant. This is why they're going through this tower. I know I said one more, but one more spirit. What else is coming in for the person that's seeing 222? Movement, the chariot, because you use your intuition, because you was wise, the emperor's on the bottom of the deck, because you followed your confidence, because you followed your passions, Aries energy, okay? Because you have new beginnings that's coming in here for you, fresh starts that are here for you. This is why you're getting ready to move forward. Now, whether this is actually physically moving, okay, whether this is a home situation or car situation, your foundations could be very significant, okay, this is a relationship, but this, again, is giving me heavy star energy, okay? Every time I see the chariot, this also not gives me cancer energy, but this also gives me a, um, Aquarius energy as well. Wish fulfillment is happening for you. You're getting ready to move forward as a result of your motherfucking strength here, okay? As a result of your strength. The bottom of the deck underneath this emperor card here was the strength card number eight you could be seeing a lot of eight eights and i just say 808 and then we got the eight of cups you're about to walk away from this and then you have the two of pentacles <laughs> this two of pentacles also look like the number eight as well you won't have to juggle this shit anymore you won't have to deal with this anymore and then the fucking queen of pentacles is in here but again you're in your head you don't realize that you have the success here you don't realize that you're about to get ready to celebrate. You don't realize that all your pillars are about to be standing firm and strong. Your foundation is about to take a turn, a twist, okay? Again, this is divine alignment that is happening for you. Divine intervention. The, the tower is my divine intervention card. But look at you. Up in your head, not even realizing it. Ten of swords. You could be seeing, I mean, excuse me. Yeah, ten of swords, okay? Feeling tired, feeling depleted, feeling like you want to give up. Don't give up, baby, because your king of pentacles is right here. And this could be you, okay? You could be heavily in your masculine energy, okay? You could just be heavily focused on your finance, okay? Capricorn energy. Focus on your business. Focus on your legacy, okay? That's very significant. Now, you're finna get ready to move away from this. This is my real G's moving silence card, okay? You're being strategic. Huh. The divine is at play here in your life. Trust the motherfucking process and know that everything is happening for you, not to you. This is what this person gets because they fuck with the wrong person. You don't do this here. The divine don't like that. And don't think that the divine, the spirit world, our ancestors, the spirit guys do not see your true intentions. Because everything in this life is about your intentions. The wind is literally picking up as I say that. Okay? I am the spiritual mermaid. Your soul awaits. My name is Anissa. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you and your journey. Trust the process. And let the divine work take this, take care of this, okay? Don't keep your mind focused and fixed on this because I promise you, they're, they're getting their karma. Little do they know they're getting their karma. They're getting it. Things they will not, they will not be able to eat off your plate. Do you hear me? Okay. I love you. Love and light to you all.